Fortune did an exclusive poll. We asked all the Fortune 500 CEOs what they thought about who should be the next president. And a lot of them responded, and 58% said Hillary Clinton, only 42% said Trump. What do you guys make of that? Is that a surprise, Matt? Uh, I think it's not only a surprise, but a lie. Um, <laughs> here's actually the way I think this plays out. Uh, Trump makes business nervous because of his stances about trade and his stances right. about immigration. Uh, they really fear that he's going to depart from pro-business Republican orthodoxy of recent decades. But he's already basically promised that he'll slash people's taxes, that he'll slash regulation. I think there's a good chance he'll have a Republican Congress on his side. Uh, and I think uh, when it actually, when all is said and done, if he is elected. Uh, and if all of that indeed plays out, I think a lot of these CEOs are going to go into the ballot box and say, well, well, Trump will still probably be more of a pro-business and a pro-money guy than Clinton will be. Interesting. I, I do think that I, I wasn't that surprised, and part of it because some people still don't want to say publicly, even in an anonymous poll, that mm -hmm. they're supporting Trump. I think some of the stuff he said on trade, it's, if you're a global CEO, it has to be concerning to you that he's talking about building walls and cutting off trade with China mm -hmm. and shows a very curious understanding of how trade deficits work yeah. and how global trade works. And Hillary Clinton is, you know, her husband was, was good for big business. She was good for big business when she was a senator from New York and as Secretary of State. They feel like, CEOs feel like they know what they're going to get with her. And Trump, as we all know, is much more of a wild card. So I, in some ways, I think that, that poll makes a lot of sense. But I do think a Republican Congress, which I am assuming you will have if you get a Republican President Trump, is going to act as a break on Trump. They'll go with him on a huge tax cut. They'll go with him on uh, sweeping out the regulatory state. They wouldn't go with him on a, you know, build the wall and slash all trade. You know, look, who, who knows? But because nobody expected us to be here talking about Donald That's Trump true. as a presumptive nominee. But I think if he wins... Then the Republican Party is going to fall in line. They're already starting to fall in line. Even the people he campaigned against who said never Trump are now saying, ah, oh, well, maybe I'll support him. I think if he wins the presidency and the Republicans still control Congress, they'll fall in line and do a lot of the stuff that he wants. And that's, that's concerning if you're a CEO. So the latest Trump scandal we have to mention is Trump University. New testimony came out on Tuesday. Former employees are, are saying that the, you know, his for-profit college was basically a scam. Is this something that's going to stick with him? Is it that bad? I don't know if it's that bad because it doesn't appear that anything that was done was illegal or aren't the kind of things that are done in any kind of these real estate seminars especially. The whole deal is to get you to come in and spend a lot of money and then keep spending for more courses and more courses and more courses. No, none of those other people running for president. So, I, But I, I just don't think that anybody who's already supporting Trump is going to look at it and say, hmm, you know what, I don't like the way that looks and I'm going to support Hillary or not vote for Trump. 